Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be recreating the YouTube Originals intro animation inside DaVinci Resolve. Well, let's take a look at the example over here. So this is the original animation. And this is what we will be creating in Fusion. You can see it's almost same. Um, so yeah, let's get started. We're going to start off by, let's create a new timeline. I'm just going to create a new timeline and I'm going to uncheck project settings. I actually want this to be 24 FPS. Uh, so we'll start off your project with 24 frames per second and click on create. And uh, we're going to drag in this, the original YouTube animation. I ripped it off from YouTube. So I'm going to just drag that in and uh, we are going to drag in the fusion composition and make sure it's uh, the same length as the main animation and let's just put it over here all right so let's uh, move our playhead on this clip the fusion clip and then go to the fusion tab now we need to make sure that our audio is available inside the fusion page now this is only possible if you are running davinci resolve 17 if you're running 16 or 15 then you won't be able to do this so if you're using DaVinci Resolve 17, you can play audio inside the Fusion tab. So to do this, we go to Media Pool, drag in the, let's just drag in this video, exit of the Media Pool. So in the Media in one, you click on that and on the right side, you see the Inspector. Click on that and then make sure you go to the Audio tab. And from the Audio track, we are going to select the YouTube, uh, Originals, whatever the text is there. And uh, that's pretty much it. Then you can go to the keyframes and you can expand your Media in one and you can just, you know, zoom into this. And you can see the waveform over here. It's, it's not displaying it's because you have to play it once. So let's just play it. Okay, so it's playing, but I don't know why it starts playing from the middle. So in order to fix this, we are going to click on Purge Audio Cache and then play it again. And now you can see the entire waveform out there. All right, so let's exit out of the keyframes view. And now you can hear your audio in this Fusion composition. All right, so this will really help us to build our animation. So let's get started. We are going to, actually we already started. So the first thing we're going to do is, as always, we're going to drag in the background node. This will determine the size of our composition. So if I just drag this onto the viewer, you can see that this is 1920 by 1080. And uh, that's exactly what we want. But what I'm going to make sure is that we're going to click on this background and I'm going to make it transparent. So drag the alpha value down to zero. All right, that is good. Now the next thing I'm going to import the YouTube logo and instead of a PNG image, I'm going to use an SVG image. So go to Fusion at the top. You can see Fusion at the top and I'm going to click on import and click on SVG. Then we're going to search for our SVG file. I got this from icons8.com. You can like search on google and you get you you'll get tons of results about this and so search for youtube icon import it and uh, click on open then for the width and the height i'm going to go with uh, let's go with 400 and click on ok and the reason we are using an svg is because um, you can use a png as well but in this svg we have these two shapes separated so if i just view this shape the background shape and uh, this play button over here these are both separated this will help us to change the color of these two shapes so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to copy these four nodes and i'm going to hit control c command c if you are on a mac you can close out of this group i'm going to paste it over here once you paste it then i'm going to select these two and just bring it under and i'm just connect going to connect the background with the background over here this will result in merge three. So if you take a look at this merge three, then you will see your logo. Uh, but where is the play icon? Uh, so don't worry, just go to the merge three, right click on it and click on swap inputs. Then you'll get the play icon over here. Now you can get rid of this group over here. So just delete it. And now what we can do is, uh, let's go to this polygon over here and uh, we can actually edit this polygon and uh, we can just, you know, change these points over here. I'm going to make it a bit flat at the top. Um, so you can just drag it down and just, you know, make it, uh, make it a straight line and do the same thing from the bottom as well. That's not necessary, but I think that this 
and it, it just looks nice right so let's just confirm the changes by selecting all and i'm just going to group these hit command g to group it and i'm going to put it over here now let's connect these two together this will result in this merge node so if you take a look at this merge node on the right side and that's exactly how you want it we want this to be in a 1920 by 1080 composition over here it's 400 by 400 but on when you look at this merge it's 1920 by 1080 and if it's not by any chance then you just have to right click on your merge and click on swap inputs so let's see how what that does you can see it's 400 by 400 and if i just click on that again it will bring it in 1920 by 1080 all right so the next step is to animate this logo and to animate it we're going to use this merge one over here so let's just reduce the size i think it's too much so maybe i'm gonna go with 60. yeah you can like change the size if you want to at a later point you can change the size easily um, but let's just animate this so i'm going to create a keyframe at the very first frame create a keyframe on center x y which is your position and i'm going to go right in the middle so since this animation is around two seconds long so like we can go in the middle let's go to the 24th frame which is like one second for a 24 fps timeline so i'm going to go there and change the position so let's just drag it to the left maybe somewhere over here and if we take a look at this or original animation on the left side then you're going to notice that they have this nice motion in the logo so it starts at this it starts slow and then accelerates so let's take a look at it so you see it starts slow and then speeds up and that's exactly what we want in our logo and to do this we're going to go out in our merge go to the spline and then click the displacement make sure you click on the zoom to fit icon and then we're going to select these two keyframes by dragging or you can just click on this icon let's say select all hit s on the keyboard to smooth that out hit t on the keyboard to get the ease in and ease out values what we're going to do is we're going to ease it out and we're going to increase this value to 100 just simply drag the slider on the slider this value and just put that to 100 exit out of the spline now we look at our logo on the right side and you can see that it has this similar kind of acceleration in it cool so after this we are going to drag in the text plus so just drag that in connect it up for this merge this will result in a merge too so let's take a look at it on the right side let's click on the text one node and type in our text so i'm going to type in youtube originals and the font that they are using in this animation i don't know which font this is but the closest one to it that i got was uh, starts with t so it's it is this one trade gothic lt something click on that and this was the closest that i got but i don't think this is the same font for now we're going to use this font okay and now we're just going to increase the size a little bit and i'm um, going to reduce the tracking also so let's just reduce that maybe something like that and we can go to the middle again to 24 frames and we're going to move our text over there because this is the position where we are creating our keyframe in this merge one so yeah that is the position we're going to keep our text and we're going to animate our text as well but before that we are going to add a mask on our text so that we can reveal it like you can see on the left side feels like the shape is the text is uh, revealed behind the shape so we're going to create something similar to do that we're going to select our text node and then we are going to add an a, a rectangle mask so just click on that let's just you know increase the width so let's just increase the width and uh, make this around 0 0.7 zero zero that should be enough okay now we're going to make sure that the right edge of this mask is let's just change the position and make sure that it is right on this curve of this logo over here something like that that looks fine okay and also make sure you click on the invert option in the rectangle mask perfect now what we want to do is we're going to animate the mask and animate the text as well so let's do that let's go to the very first frame we're going to make sure that the position 
is right near this near the curve of our shape like that maybe we can just move it a little bit to the left right that looks good uh, so we can create a keyframe on center xy which is your position go to the 24th frame and I'm going to make sure again we're going to change the position just make sure that this the right edge of our rectangle mask this box is just on this curve over here now you can see the timing is off and we're going to fix that by going into the spline and we are going to select the rectangle mask over here uh, then we're going to click on this icon that says zoom to fit select all the keyframes hit s on the keyboard and again we have the ease in and ease out values over here we're going to just increase the ease out amount to 100. now it will match the speed of our logo and you're going to notice that it just kind of sticks to the logo over here right that looks absolutely fine and then we're going to animate our text so go to the 24th frame where we will create our keyframe let's go to the layout and create a keyframe over there center x y create a keyframe go back to the previous frame or the very first frame and i'm going to just move the position to the left okay and again go to the spline and do the same thing make sure text is selected and you can make your life more easier if you go into this menu over here click on that and you can click on show only selected tools so once you do that then whatever node you select it will show only the spline of that node and that's really helpful so you can just click on zoom to fit again select these two keyframes hit s and uh, with the ease in and ease out values we can just ease that out to 100. all right so let's take a look at it let me just turn off the audio it's disturbing me so we'll just preview that at the end uh, you know that looks good but there is slight movement after the text appears there is some style slight movement in the text that goes that shifts the text to the right so let's try to achieve that effect so I'm gonna go to maybe around 34 frames and change the center X and just move it to the right a little bit and that should do the trick all right that looks good we are going to uh, add another background note so let's just drag in background 2 which is the very first icon connect it up with this merge this will result in merge 4 let's take a look at this on the right side and now the background 2 we're going to change its color to white and right now it's sitting on top of our animation so we're going to go to this merge 4 right click and click on swap inputs there's a shortcut key for that as well so you can use that pretty handy so here is our animation now we forgot to change the text color so go to the text one go back to the text tab over here and change the color to black all right so I like that looks fine we are almost done and uh, there is some issue over here you can see the text is in front of our logo we want this to be behind our logo as in the example over here now it's pretty simple on this merge tool I hope this is the right one right click and click on swap inputs and bam you can see that the text is now behind our YouTube logo. All right, that looks amazing. Now we just need to change the color of our logo and the background and the text. So it's pretty simple. So we're going to use this reference video and see where the change happens. So there, right there, right at this frame, 23rd frame and the 24th frame. We need to create keyframes over here. So we're gonna start off with the background which is our main background the white one i'm going to select that which is this background node over here i'm going to create a keyframe on that so you can click on this diamond icon click on it to create a keyframe and we're going to move one frame forward so now we are at the 24th frame and now we are changing its color to red so you can just pick the color from our reference video here that's for the background now let's change the color for our text so i'm going to select the text node over here create a keyframe on color make sure your playhead is at the 23rd frame create a keyframe and now go to the 24th frame and change the color to white so you can drag it or you can just you know pick the color why did we do that you can just pick the color from here and that's it now the same thing goes for the group over here so double click on that 
and they have the background node as well attached to it so we are going to keyframe that let's go to the 23rd frame and make sure we create a keyframe on the color and let's go to the 24th frame and change the color to white so pick the color and now let's go back to the 23rd frame and select the second background node in the group create a keyframe there and go to the 24th frame and just pick the red color using the color picker and that is pretty much it that's how you can create a youtube originals intro animation inside davinci resolve so you can now take a look at this side by side even turn on the audio but i'm just going to turn it off and just play it you can see that it looks pretty identical except for the font because i don't know what that font is but yeah that's just about it and don't forget to connect the merge 4 with the media out that is the important step otherwise you won't be able to see your animation in the edit page so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful if it was then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one